Welcome to Simple Cooking with Eric. And what I'm going to show you is how I make spaghetti sauce. Spaghetti meat sauce. So, I have a pound of ground chuck. One pound. I'm going to add ground chuck. And one pound of Italian, hot Italian sausage. Into my saucepan. I'm going to add some oregano. And you know you season your stuff to your own taste. I'm going to add a, a little crushed red pepper. I know I got one open somewhere, but I'm, I'm, I'm quick uh, in a hurry. Uh. Bear with me, y'all. A little crushed red pepper. And I'm going to add some celery. Some celery and green pepper and onions that I already had cut up and frozen. Let that cook. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Those that are new, who are tuning in for the first time, those that are old, thank you all for tuning in. I'm just gonna try to do this quick um spaghetti sauce. Now while that's cooking. I'm going to put my top on. I'm going to get gather some more ingredients. Now, uh, I have some tomato paste. I'm going to add. I have some petite cut tomatoes. I have some taco fiesta seasoning and I have some spaghetti sauce seasoning. I'm going to also add you all bear with me, I'm looking for some stuff. I'm going I know I'm gonna add some chili powder some onion powder, some sage, and some garlic powder, and some basil. Imagine a little basil in there now though, so we can cook with the meat. I want to add some um, some minced garlic if I can find it. Oh, yes. Some minced garlic. And I'm going to add this to the, see, a lot of garlic. I'm going to put a little of that juice in it. A lot of garlic, you all. I'm also going to add some garlic powder, too, for it all over here. And we're going 
going to let that simmer first. How are you all doing? I'm glad you are tuning in or have tuned in or going to tune in. I really appreciate it. And I know everybody makes spaghetti sauce different. I'm just going to show you how it quickly makes it. I'm opening up my cans and stuff. Because once, I, once I, my meat is uh, cooked, then I start, it goes pretty fast. So I'm going to turn this over. Turn this up a little. Okay, it's gonna go pretty fast, you all. Once we start uh, getting it together. So, welcome to the channel. Uh, for those that I knew, I really appreciate it. Please continue to watch, share, and view. And if you have a comment, you can leave it at simplecookingwitheric at gmail.com. That's where you can email me at. If you want me to make something for you or a special dish that you would like to learn how to make, just shoot me an email and, if, and I can learn how to make it. Trust me. You know, uh, a lot of things I make on this channel, I'll be making it for the first time. But I believe that if you know food and you know what work and what might not work, it's, it's simple. It's pretty simple. And that's why it's called Simple Cooking with Eric. When you ain't got to deal with all that extra and... Oh, peeling the garlic and all that. We don't have time for all that. And then, you know, people don't have money to be bad all those special ingredients. And I think that's the only thing that's wrong with a lot of cooking shows on TV. They cater to one demographic. They don't cater to, you know, the average uh, working person that, you know, that can't afford all them fancy gadgets and ingredients. So that's what I'm trying to make this channel be. Where just cater to the everyday working person, single person, everyday people. So that's why I do things the way I do them. I try to do them fast. And, you know, I am known to be a fast cook. I, I cook like this all the time, fast. And, you know, you get good results, though. I get good results. So, you know, um, that's what this channel is about. So we, we browning our meat. I'm going to get this meat brown and then uh, after the meat, after I finish off this meat, then we're going to start making our sauce. So we see that we, I drained the uh, meat and see it is, it's cooking up just fine. So we, so, so far we have a pound of um, brown chuck and a pound of hot Italian sausage. And I got some cut up onion, celery, and green pepper in here. And then I put some um, oregano and some, um, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about this, baby. Some oregano and some um, minced garlic. Minced garlic. You see? Now what I'm going to add is this can of petite tomatoes. And then I add a can of, a half a can of hot water, half of this can of hot water. Now I'm going to add some uh, onion powder. I thought the onion powder was up. Oh. Like I say, season it the way you want your stuff seasoned. Don't, you know, it, it's no special way to season nothing. It's according to your taste buds. You know what your taste buds are. I really don't care for onion powder too much, but I like it in the spaghetti. Look, some onion powder. I got some chili powder. A 
Okay. Some chili powder. And this is the way I do my spaghetti. There's no special way. I got some ground sage. Y'all, let me tell you something. Sage is not just for dressing on Christmas and Thanksgiving. Mm, ain't got that much. I don't use all that. So I put some sage in. I got some garlic powder. A little garlic powder. And then I'm going to add to this uh, these two cans of tomato paste. Y'all forget it's banging, but y'all know how y'all when you and your when you at home, this is where you do it, so two large cans of tomato paste. I like my sauce thick and red. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna fill both these cans up with hot water and add that. Okay, let's get some hot water. Y'all remember them days when you used to do this? Okay, let me get rid of all this stuff. I'm tell y'all what I'm going to be looking for. Okay, now I'm going to add this taco seasoning. And this spaghetti seasoning. And I got to be honest, if I had another pack of taco, that's why I'm looking for another pack of taco. Because I usually add two or three packs of taco seasoning. And I don't know why I didn't get no more, you know, but I won't plan on doing those spaghetti. So since I stopped doing those ribs, check out the video on smothered Jamaican jerk ribs. Check that video out. And so since I decided to do those ribs for one needle, I just said I'll make some spaghetti to go with it. So now we got all that in there, all that goodness. Look at that, you all. Let that cook on up. Now, I'm going to add a little seasoning salt. Let me get, try to get all this. I'm adding a little sugar and a little seasoning salt. Give it a oh, look at good. Look at good. Look, look at it's coming along. Oh.
Now, let me taste if you need anything else. Y'all don't need nothing else. It really doesn't. But I'm going to add a little more of the sugar. The rest of that sugar. <coughs> uh. mm -mm. I'm going to let this simmer on low. So the spices all come together. And this is how I do spaghetti sauce. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have a comment or you want me to make something, you can email me at simplecookingwitheric at gmail.com. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to share with your family, co-workers, loved ones, whoever. Thanksgiving, October 21st, five subscribers will be chosen live on Facebook. And they will win their, uh, the giveaway is their Thanksgiving dinner catered by me for up to 20 people per family with all the bells and whistle. Honey baked ham, a whole turkey, dressing, macaroni and cheese, greens or string beans, sweet potatoes, a pound cake, and peach cobbler. Now who can beat that? So, please like, share, and subscribe, and tell your family and friends and loved ones to go to Simple Cooking with Eric on YouTube. I pre appreciate you all viewing and, and spending your time with me. Until we meet again, treat each other right. Bye. Peace out.